Hello 3D printing enthusiasts and sports fans. We are back with the second part of the assembly for the Hi-V 3D Gotcha Pop system. In our last video, we assembled the coin mechanism and today we have a lot more to do. <laughs> this is the rest of the machine right here. Um, we are going to start by building the lower housing. So let's pick out our pieces that we will need for this first part. The first piece we need for this first portion is our floor piece. It looks like this. Next, we will need our four wall pieces. There are two identical side pieces, a back piece and a front piece. I'm gonna try to keep these as organized as possible, but my desk is very small. We will also need the capsule chute. So it's best to assemble the walls once you have the floor printed so you can use it as a frame to make sure that everything is square and lines up properly. We're going to start by setting in our front piece and it's the one that looks like this. This is where the coin mechanism goes in and this is where the chute goes in. So we're going to take the chute and the front piece and we're going to use the grooves to slide that right into the front right there. And then we're going to use this little key to put it into the hole right here to assemble like so. We are now going to take our side pieces and we're going to ensure that this side that sticks out is the side that goes outward and then the flat side goes inward. And these will just slot right into the little T-slots here. And we wanna make sure that that is lined up with the hole in the floor. Then we'll do the same thing, but mirrored with the other side piece. Make sure it's all lined up. Good. Now that this is all lined up and square, we can take our rear piece, apply even pressure, and slide it down. All right, now that we have these all lined up and square, we're going to flip it over so we can add some glue. It doesn't need to be a lot, but just enough to keep it on. Let's do a couple of dabs along the walls on the flat pieces. Reminder that the version two of the Gotcha Pop machine will not require any glue, but this version one does. All right, we will now replace the floor and make sure that it is lined up properly. And we'll give it a nice little spritz to speed things up. And add our four little feet. And we should be good. That is the lower assembly. Now that the lower housing is assembled, we can take the drawer piece and slide it right into the back like so. And then we can take our coin mechanism and you'll notice there are grooves on the sides of it right here and right here, line up with the rails on the lower housing. And so we are just going to line those up and slide it right in. Now we can do a quick test to see if the coin lands in the drawer. Yep, looks good. I almost forgot this is also a good time to install the capsule catcher porch. The pins on the capsule catcher line up with the holes on the chute. Perfect. Now that we have the lower housing assembled, we can set this aside and start on the wheel housing. Okay, the pieces required for this next portion are the wheel floor, the capsule wheel, the wheel star, the shank, and this tiny piece, the shank retainer. It's a little bit difficult to see with this color, but you'll notice that there's this triangle arrow on the wheel, and that actually lines up with another triangle arrow on the wheel star. And so you need to make sure that those arrows are facing each other and you will put the two together. You kind of can't get this wrong because if you put it in any other direction, the star won't line up with the wheel properly. Now let's add some glue. Next up, we're going to attach the wheel to the wheel floor. So we're gonna take the shank and we're going to put it through the top of the wheel star. You'll see the bottom of the shank sticking out and that is where we will attach it to the floor and this can only go in one way. So you just gotta turn it until it goes through. We'll now take this tiny piece, the shank retainer pin, and we'll glue it into that hole on the wheel shank. All right, now that should be 
nice and secure, not falling through, and also able to spin freely. It's okay if it has a little bit of wobble and give. That is on purpose. So now we're gonna bring back our lower assembly and attach the wheel assembly to it. You'll notice that there are these pins that stick up off the front and back walls. These line up with little grooves on the wheel floor. So we'll just pop those on and it should line up nicely. Now, there's a crucial step here that we need to make sure we don't miss. Remember how I said this has a little bit of give before? That's on purpose. We need to make sure that this wheel is properly aligned with the gear on the coin mechanism. And so in order to make that as easy as possible, there are arrows on the wheel and arrows on the inside of the wheel that align with the upward pointing arrow of the gear mechanism. And so we need to make sure that those are lined up perfectly. An easy way to tell without checking the arrows is if one of the slots is lined up with the coin chute. If it's not lined up with the coin chute perfectly, it's not going to work. With that said, we can add some glue. And then we will pop this on here and there. We'll make sure everything is aligned properly right there. And then we will use our activator. And that is now the assembled lower housing and wheel. This is a good opportunity to test out our mechanism to make sure that everything is functioning properly. Toss a coin in and give it a turn and we'll make sure that once the wheel is finished turning, the mechanism lines up again properly with the capsule hole. Ta-da! And there's our coin. Oops. Next up, we need to grab the hopper funnel, which is this big old chunky print. And you'll notice that the holes in the bottom of the hopper funnel line up with the pins on the top of the wheel floor. And so we will add a little bit of glue to each of these pins and around the edges for some extra strength. And we also need to make sure that these grooves here line up with the top of the coin mechanism to fully close it in. This might need some motivation to go all the way down. It's a tight fit. And that is the lower assembly and hopper funnel. Next up is the deflector piece. And there are these little spots in the hopper funnel for this piece to go in. It just slides in just like that. And what this does is prevents more than one capsule from going down into the capsule chute. So just like everything else, we will add a little bit of glue and slide that into its designated home. Just want to double check that nothing catches or interferes with other parts. Should be good. Okay, we can momentarily set this aside and we're gonna grab our corner frame pieces and our two gantry pieces. You'll notice on the gantry pieces that there are these pins and these pins mate with the holes in the end of the corner frames. So before we actually attach these, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue into the inside of these frame holes and onto the top. And then we are going to mate these parts together. All right, there. Okay, there's one gantry completed, on to the next. Okay, now it's time to install the gantries onto the Gotcha Pop machine. And to do this, we're going to need two of our cages. You're gonna take your cage and make sure that they are going the long way. They are not square, as you can see. You make sure that they're going the long way into your gantries. Stick it into these grooves and slide it in until it's at the very top. It should kinda snap in and rest in there nicely. And we'll add our second cage to our other gantry. Oh, see, I made a mistake and I accidentally put it in the wide way. I'm gonna put it in the long way. I should slide in and kind of pop in a way 
the grooves, there it goes. Okay, now it's time to install the gantries with cages onto our machine. It's very important that you get the orientation correct. On the gantry piece, there is a, this groove down the middle. There's an open end and a closed end. The closed end needs to go toward the front of the machine, toward the handle, and these will be for the sides. The shank on the end of the corner frames fit into the slots on the hopper funnel. I'm going to add some super glue. I'm gonna double check the orientation to make sure that the closed side of the groove is going toward the front of the machine. And then it should slide right in and the cage should sit into the groove on the hopper funnel. That looks good. We're now gonna do our other piece. Once again, make sure that the closed side of the groove is going toward the handle and that the grooves themselves are going toward the inside of the machine. As for our next step, we can install the final cages by sliding them into the grooves on the front and back of the frames. Make sure it's seated down nicely. And now for our final piece, we'll take the lid with the handle and you'll notice these rails on the side and these rails interface with the grooves on the gantries. The side with the hole is the side that goes toward the back of the machine. So we should be able to line these rails up with our grooves and with even pressure, slide the lid over the top of the machine. And just like that, you have assembled your Hybe 3D Gotcha Pop vending machine. All right, let's give this thing a test drive. Just for testing purposes, I'm gonna fill it with capsules I already have printed. These are Pokeball inspired capsules that are available for free on Maker World. To fill it up is super simple. Slide open the lid and pour in your capsules. It's gonna be loud. Slide the lid back up and here we go. looks like it's working just as intended. Um, you've now assembled your Gotcha Pop machine.